introduce you now to someone whose name you'll hear a lot this weekend, Lenny Kraselberg, America's newest swimming sensation. He's nicknamed the Backstroke King for good reason. He's a two-time world champion and the world record holder in the 100-meter and 200-meter backstrokes. He could win as many as three gold medals here in Sydney. But Lenny's path to the U.S. swim team is far from typical. Although he now lives and trains in Los Angeles, he grew up in the former Soviet Union. Lenny for good morning. How are you, Lenny? Good morning. I'm great. Nice to see you. You psyched? I'm very excited to be here. Yeah. How long have you been in Sydney? We've been here for about nine days. We came here last week. We went to Brisbane for about six days for a training camp there and just got back a few days ago. So you feel pretty acclimated? Very much so. Ready to go. Ready to start swimming. Now, I know that you learned to swim when you were just five years old uh, and you were living in Odessa, Ukraine, and you joined a Soviet sports army club. What was that whole experience like for you, Lenny, as a little boy? Well, as a little kid growing up there, it was very intense. People really, they try to uh, breed their swimmers at young age there. And by age of nine and ten, we had, there was a lot of pressure to perform well in that system and try to survive. But the kids that really did perform well moved on and competed at international level. And I guess that's when I really realized at that age that this is what it takes to be the best, the hard work, the dedication that you're supposed to have every day, day in and day out. When did you realize the backstroke was your stroke? Well, at the age of nine, I did. Uh, my coach told my dad one day that I think Lenny is born to be a backstroker. And ever since then, I've just been swimming on my back most of the time. You came to this country when you were 12 years old. Your family decided to leave, leave the Soviet Union. And when you arrived in Los Angeles, I wonder, I, I, I understand it was a bit of a culture shock. Yeah, it was a tremendous culture shock. First of all, it's just the freedom. You see people, you know, wearing anything they want to wear, earrings, tattoos, everything. And coming from a very conservative society, it was a tremendous culture shock for, for my family and especially myself, a young kid. And even going to junior high, I went to junior high, I just saw people speaking all the languages. You spoke it, no English? I spoke absolutely zero, Engl zero English, and it was really hard for me to get around the first few months. Your family wanted to leave the Soviet Union because they were afraid of anti-Semitism for one reason. What, what are the other reasons that they decided to just pick up and leave this life behind? Well, anti-Semitism was a big reason, but also opportunities that America always had for people to be whoever they wanted to be if they were you know, able to dedicate their life to. And also, Russia being involved in the war with Afghanistan really was a big part because at 18, uh, army was mandatory, so everyone was gonna get drafted. And that was a big concern for my parents. They didn't wanna see me going to a war that there was no reason fighting for. 